Hey, as a 276 here. I'm coming to you with a DCS skinning tutorial series here. I'm uh, going to go through about five episodes looking at uh, the software and plugins you'll be required to do this, uh, the skin and folder locations in the game files, the users' files for, the, for where you put your custom skins, and creating those skins uh, from either the templates provided by, on the your Dynamics website or from uh, DDS files from the game. Uh, also touch on custom bought numbers, numbers that are, go down the side of the planes. Uh, the next third episode we'll be looking at the exporting and uh, the files as DDS so the game can read them and what all the DDS exporter settings mean. Uh, we'll be touching on the description.lua file in episode 4, uh, what all the fields mean and how they can affect the outcome. And lastly, we'll be talking about how I do testing and adjusting the textures uh, using Model Viewer and how it looks in the final game. So let's get started. First of all, you either you'll need a uh, paint program of sorts. Uh, I personally use uh, Photoshop here because uh, the developers use Photoshop for the most of what they do. So it uh, it's all the files in templates come in PSD format. So it's it's basically ready made for that. Uh, although you can use GIMP, GIMP is another way of doing things. It can be just a tad laggy sometimes, uh, depending how large it is. So uh, that, that that's possible as well. Uh, both come with uh, plugins for the DDS export uh, exporters and file opening. So another thing you can use is, uh, I believe, is PaintShop Pro. Uh, some of the plugins do work. I don't know much about that, so you're going to have to do your uh, own Googling for that one, sorry. Next up is the uh, plugins. So plugins uh, you can get from this website here for the uh, for GIMP. It's a GIMP DDS plugin. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, for Photoshop, there's actually two possible plugins you can use. There's the Intel Texture Works plugin for Photoshop. Uh, link is there. Again, I'll put that in the description. So can, it has all these options you can select. And also the NVIDIA Texture tool, Tools Exporter. For those that have been using this in the past, there is an older uh, version for CS up to CS6. Legacy version, so that is still available through the bottom there. But for those Creative Cloud users, CC users, this is probably the one you want to use, the Texture Tools Exporter. You will have to sign up to the NVIDIA developer. Just provide your email, make an account, and you'll be able to use it. It has a few options that you can go from there. Another thing with the NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter is it has the standalone applications, so you can still create your your skin in uh, any application that you want, as long as the file dimension, the, the image dimensions uh, kept the same. You can use JPEG or whatever, and you can use a standalone application. Don't have to use it as a plugin to create the DDS files, or you can use a Photoshop plugin if you have Photoshop. So. You don't need to use Photoshop to use a standalone plugin. You can use anything. You can use Paint for crying out loud if you really want to go that far. And there, that'll do us for the first episode. We covered uh, what this series is going to be about, what programs you need, and the plugins that you'll need to go through. I won't go into installing them. It's pretty self-explanatory if you read the uh, readme files for the particular plugins. Um, so I'll leave that to you. Thanks for watching. Catch me next time.